Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's episode is all about the brand new Tom Ford Private Shadows, which are the brand new single eyeshadows that just came out. So if you're interested in seeing which shades I picked up, some of my thoughts on a couple duds that I found, then keep on watching. So I hope everyone had a really great Thanksgiving. I definitely did. I woke up full, which is always a really good sign. So I actually pre-ordered a bunch of these Tom Ford Private Shadows a couple days ago when they came into Neiman Marcus. I was like pre-sold them basically, which means I kind of put them aside and they rang them up today so that I could take advantage of the $50 off $200 deal that Neiman Marcus was having for Black Friday. So I ran there this morning. They opened at 8 a.m. I was there at like 7.45. I ran there this morning, picked them up and ran back and I just wanted to show you uh, which ones I got and I pretty much was able to swatch all of them and to show you a couple duds that I found or at least I would not recommend. So these new private shadows from Tom Ford are $36 each. They are each 1.2 grams, which is 0.04 ounces. Um, it comes in 30 shades altogether with five different finishes, which I'll talk about as I show you the ones that I purchased. So I ended up purchasing seven shades, which encompass four of the finishes. There's one finish that I really liked, but I thought, let me just maybe get those a little bit later. I think these shadows are a limited edition, but I'm not sure. Um, so let me go ahead and show you the ones that I purchased. So like I just mentioned, there's five different finishes. There's an ultra suede, which is like the most matte. There's suede, which is a creamier, kind of a demi-matte finish. There's sateen, which is like a satin finish. There's vinyl, which is like a wet looking, highly reflective uh, finish. And then there's paillette, which is like the really glittery kind of top coat, you know, you use with your finger, that kind of finish. So those are the five different finishes. I was able to pick up uh, seven shades in four of the finishes. Ultra Suede I did not pick up. They come in the typical Tom Ford uh, brown colored box. And this is what the single shadow looks like. It looks almost like a teeny tiny little quad. Um, but the quad, you know, this gold part is stationary. You just lift up the lid. This is a little bit different and it kind of got me. So what you do is you open up this gold uh, portion by just flipping it down and then you can lift up the shade. So this gold part acts as a sort of lock to the whole thing. So it's pretty cool. I really like it. There's a teeny tiny mirror inside, which is really nice. And then, so let's start with the uh, suede finish shade that I purchased. I decided to get Agenda Rouge, which is this sort of reddish color. So these suede finishes are like the demi matte finishes and they just have the most amazing cream finish to them. They're absolutely stunning. You can't imagine how soft they feel. They're really gorgeous. They're super, super creamy feeling. This is a really, really special formula. So this is again, Agenda Rouge in suede. Next up is a sateen finish, and I decided to pick up the shade Smoked Opaline, and it is this shade that looks like, um, almost like an antique gold, like it has like a little bit of like a khaki green to it. It is really stunning, and these sateen shades are like a satin finish. Again, super silky, very, very creamy. They blend out absolutely effortlessly. They're so beautiful. I sat at that counter. <laughs> I sat at this Tom Ford counter with two of my friends for, it was it was at least, at least like an hour and a half. And we just swatched and played and put on and took off and put on again all these different shades. And they just, uh, they just blend so beautifully. They're so rich, they're so creamy. So I actually have smoked opaline on like the outer corners of my eyes. I just put it on lightly. Actually, excuse my sort of like no makeup makeup look today. I have no foundation or powder on. I just threw on a little bit of blush um, and some lipstick and I was playing around with the shadows or whatever. So part of my lack of makeup today. But anyway, so again, this is Smoked Opaline in the Sateen finish. So I purchased three shadows in the vinyl finish, which I think is my favorite. So the vinyl finish is the one that is like really wet looking. It almost looks like highlighter for your eyes. So the first one is Body Double. And this one is just a really beautiful kind of taupey champagne color. It is absolutely stunning. When you put your fingers into these shadows, they almost feel wet or they almost feel like they're cream. They're so, so rich and you're not going to believe the finish that you get off of these. So that is Body Double. Absolutely love it. 
The next one I purchased is called Warm Leatherette. Again, this is in the vinyl finish. And this is what I have all over my eyes. So here is Warm Leatherette. And again, it just feels like super creamy. There's Warm Leatherette. It feels super creamy, just, oh, just absolutely amazing. And then the final vinyl <laughs> shadow that I got is called Blue Velvet. And this color is stunning. Absolutely stunning. This is just a gorgeous navy blue. Oh, it just feels amazing. So there is blue vinyl. Gorgeous. I think my favorite finish is the vinyl finish, if you couldn't tell. Um, so those are the three vinyl finish shadows that I got. So last but not least, I purchased two shades, both in the paillette finish. And the first one I got is Breathless. And this is what Breathless looks like. So the Pyatt finish is the one that's sort of like the what Tom Ford is known for, the, the top coat. So these are definitely meant to be used with your finger and kind of dabbed on top of whatever shadow you have. Of course, you can wear them alone if you want. But these are definitely the shadows that are going to be the most mysterious. You know, if you go in store and you swatch them, you're going to be like, I'm not exactly sure how these will work. But if you use your finger and you dab, they're just really gorgeous. So here is Breathless. You probably can't even see it, but I have my close-up swatches for you that I'll stick in. Um, and this is what I have actually dabbed lightly from the inner corner over to the center of my eyelid. I don't know if you can see it. The sun is actually pretty bright today. But it's it's absolutely stunning. I just love it. it give, it's just a nice silvery crystal shade. And then the last shade that I got, again in a Pyatt finish, is called Camera Obscura. And this is like has a purpley duochrome shift to it. This one is really, really cool. So that's what it looks like swatched. So there is Camera Obscura. But again, I'll throw in some close up swatches of all of these shades. So while I was sitting there swatching and playing around with all 30 shades, it was actually a little overwhelming, all 30 shades, there were two shades in particular that did not perform well at all, and they were both in this paillette uh, finish. So the first one is uh, Black Onyx. This, again, is uh, a paillette finish. So I think these shades are really, really tricky. I think it's almost a matter of expectation. So when you see this in the pan, you're expecting this really rich sort of gunmetal, reflective charcoal shade and all you end up getting and you can see on my finger here is like this pale pale wash of almost nothing of just a little bit of glitter so that one was incredibly disappointing um, I really I think this was actually the first shadow I reached for I really wanted to like it and as soon as I finger swatched it and put it on my arm I thought no way and the second one that I don't think is very good at all is called Emerald Sun, again a pie-up finish, and this is the one that looks green. And again, it's a matter of expectations. You know, you see this beautiful green color in the pan, and you expect to see this on your eyes. Well, it does not come out that way at all. Um, you can see on the back of my hand where I swatched it, you just get these like chunky, loose glitters. So I was very disappointed um, in both of these. These are the two that I definitely would not recommend. So that's it for this quick review. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions down below. I'll be happy to help if I can. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video.